Now tell me who can stop me, I'm in the zone Competition's none in the league of my own All about the W, I'ma bring it home When it's over with, I'ma be the king of the throne Now who can stop me, I'm in the zone Competition's none in the league of my own All about the W, I'ma bring it home When it's over with, I'ma be the king of the throne I'm in the zone, I'm in the zone The competition wait. tell them let's get it on Let's go And we are here with Roots TV to uh, to interview some um, kids. What's your name? Jordan. Uh, how old are you? Eleven. Uh, how do you enjoy basketball? Oh, uh, I love. I just love the sport and I'm pretty good at it. So Does it make you healthy? Uh yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon you're gonna win the trophy today? Uh, m most likely. Oh wow, that's really confidence. You next. Come here. What's your name? Xavier. Xavier. Uh, do you think you're gonna win today? Yes. Um, how, how do you see basketball? It's quite fun because I enjoy doing it. Inspector Don, and I'm going to ask him some questions about the basketball event. Don, uh, I wanted to tell you that um, how does this affect the people uh, by playing basketball? Look, it may be a game of basketball, it may be music, but basically when we started this concept, the idea was to get the youth to come in to show them some structure in their lives. So while sport is fun, sport and music actually are good for bringing kids on the straight and narrow path because kids yeah. get into trouble. Yeah. So while we're down here, we can have a hidden message about saying, hey guys, don't do drugs, don't yeah. do alcohol. There's more healthy living being down here playing some basketball and getting on with your friends. Yeah. And um, I wanted to tell you one more question. Um, how do you see the kids around here? How does this, how does this change their lives? And so basically what I observed in the time, I did beat ball for nearly five years. Oh. And what I observed was kids from little growing up, uh, and you were one of those kids, and you did some of the areas around here as yeah. well, but what I saw was kids learning the right way from an early age. Yeah. And then when they got bigger, all of a sudden they became mentors themselves for the littler kids. Yeah. Saying, I've been here since your age, now I'm bigger. And I look at one of the boys over shooting the basketball now, yeah. he was this big, and now he's a big boy bigger than me. So yeah. yeah. My name is Lilima, I'm Parissa, and we are from CV, Curtin Volunteers. Okay, um, so we're helping out with um, beatball, scoring their games. So um, what we do is find like the fairest player and the best player on the court, so that they can like get like trophies at the end and have fun during the game. Kids know each other in the community and I feel that they're kind of more interconnected here and there's a good support network happening. Um, and it keeps the kids out of the street and which is very good like yeah. yeah they come and they spend their energy here instead of on the streets or anywhere else doing anything else like it's good to yeah you kind of need volunteering for young people just because that it kind of gets you closer to your community and you kind of know that you're giving back to society so it's I don't know, it's also a fun thing that um, like the youth can do together and get to know um, expand like, their opportunities and their horizons you learn about the society and about yourself because you're growing you're looking at different people you're you're networking with different people in sports, um, down at Beatball Mirabuka at the moment, um, waiting for the kids to rock up. Um, yeah, it's a three on three basketball uh, competition where we pretty much mix up teams, try to get everyone um, kind of interacting with different people um, and also just having uh, fun playing the game of basketball. Uh, also why they've got a bit of hip hop music in the background, so yeah, it's pretty good. Um, the hip hop music does get to them in the way because I obviously listen to a lot of that. Um, basketball is a really big sport around this area, 
um, so it does attract um, the crowd uh, pretty well. Um, and yeah, uh, that, that's the main two reasons what I think. Um, it's because, yeah, there's um, obviously basketball is really popular. Um, I love it. Um, and also, yeah, the music gets them kind of going and in the mood to want to play it as well. So. Yeah, of course. Um, my role is as a senior grants officer and WA Police provide funding for crime prevention projects. So we want to go out into communities, engage with the communities, um, share crime prevention messages and we see engaging young people in a program such as Beatball as a really positive thing. Um, so we provided some funding to an organisation called Roots TV um, to engage young people in a media programme um, so that young people can develop their skills um, and again be involved in more positive activities and hopefully stay out of trouble. I'm here with Christy from Edwin Rice Center. So Christy, can you please tell us more about this event? Um, well, Beatball's been going for oh, lots of years, I think maybe 10 years, but for the last eight years, I've been coming along and volunteering um, just to do the scoring. It's a great program, lots and lots of kids um, from all nationalities, a lot of Aboriginal kids, and it's just lovely to see an event where they all play together and get on so well, they're on each other's team. It's just a great program. Sure. Um, well, I'm the deputy director at Edmund Rice Centre, oh. and um, we do, apart from our adult programs that we do for English and computer, um, we ha run lots of sports programs and parks programs for the kids. Um, and uh, that's a fun part of the job, being able to go and watch the kids play and, and support them in their, in their teams. And a lot of the kids that come to the Edmund Rice Centre programs will be here tonight to, they come down once a month to, to work with, uh, to play at play people or to score TV. Um, well actually I think I was one of the first people interviewed when Roots TV started about three years ago I think that was and um, now we're very lucky to have Roots TV running a program at the Edmund Rice Centre in our creative arts program um, it's funded by the West Australian Police and um, it's giving Elmi and Roots TV the opportunity to get out more and uh, address the issues that um, our young people have. BL in the building. Oh, I'm in the zone, man. Yeah. Now tell me who can stop me. I'm in the zone. Competition's none in a league of my own. All about the W. I'ma bring it home when it's over with. I'ma be the king of the throne. Now who can stop me? I'm in the zone. Competition's none in a league of my own. All about the W. I'ma bring it home when it's over with. I'ma be the king of the throne. I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone. The competition way. Tell them let's get it on. My hustle. Game crazy and I'ma finish strong. You threw up so many.